almost ready, right? Sean. I know. Our proud sponsor of Home Security Consultant, LLC. All right, uh, this is the Wise Show. We're back. And right now is our, our first guest of the evening. He's an American actor. Um, he was in television and film. He's a new friend of the Wise Guy Show. We want to welcome from... No? He hung up. He hung up. Okay. That's weird. Pete, you got to stop with that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. For those who know, Pete and I really don't hate each other. Did you try calling him back? I hate you, too. Okay, you son of a... You uh, all right, that's weird. Fuck. I think Leon now might be scared. Hey, look who just Scala, joined Scala, where's the camera? Scala. It's over there. Got Jesus with you? Well, Jesus, it's hell. Uh, all right, well, we're trying now. to... We had Mark Metcalf on the phone. I don't know what happened. I guess he only got scared from Leon now. What do you think? Uh, no, he's yeah, calling I, us. Just I, I, calling I, the race back. All right. I, I got scared. On the phone... There she is. I hear her. No, no it's, it's just a, it's an answer search. Just try, just try him again while we're going on here. Uh, I just want to go over a few things to keep us busy until we get him back on the phone. Um, we're waiting to confirm Bowser from Shanana. Oh, that'd be cool. S stay tuned to the Wise Guys Facebook group page for dates and times. Uh, Facebook. Uh, dot com slash groups slash the Wise Guys Show. Wise Guys with a Z. Z. And then. Um, Wow. Coming up, uh, we're looking at Back to the Future 2 special. Oh, cool. that, That's another uh, event that's coming up in... July 12th. July 12th. We got Harry Waters Jr. And we have Jeffrey Weissman, who played... Um, uh, he played uh, Marty McFly. He's, no, Michael not Marty. Not, not Marty. <laughs> not Marty, the father. Uh, I'm bad. That bad. was Chris McFly. No, but no, no, the Crispin Glover was the father in one. Crispin Glover didn't want to do two, so they killed his character off, but they still had to have, like, like, 2015. Wow, 2015, yeah. 30 years. Jeffrey Weissman years played the, uh, the old Marty McFly. The old Marty McFly. Oh, wow. The one that was, the one that was hanging upside down in 2015. Yeah. Okay, all right, I didn't know that. Yes. And also, Ricky Dean Logan, who played one of the bullies with, um, uh, the, Casey's the, the skateboards and all that stuff. Casey's in Moscow. Yeah. Board, whatever it's called. The, the guy that was, was the guy that was in Titanic was in that was one of the police too. Marty, we gotta get you back to the future. Uh, Marty, uh, you gotta come back no. with me. Nothing. No, no, no. We just. I'm still waiting for my hover conversion on my car. I guess it ain't happening. No. I'm still waiting. People. They got the whole Cubs. They got that no, Cubs. We got anything all wrong. Okay, we're on. On the phone right now, we have our next, our first guest of the evening. He's an American in television, film, and film actor. He's a friend of the show, thanks to Steve Joyner. Let's welcome Mark Metcalf, everybody. Yes. Hey, Mark. Good How are you doing? Mark. Hey, nice to meet you, Glenn. Yeah, well, we were happy. We're big, huge fans of Animal House, and uh, we grew up on the show, but you've done so much more, and... Um, uh, I'd like to just get started. Where did it get started with you to be an actor? What made you want to be an actor? Well, it's always the girls that make you keep doing that kind of thing. <laughs> Theater girls are the best. <laughs> yes, it does. Huh. Now, now, Mark, you were you were for, you went to high school at Westfield, New Jersey. Westfield High School. So, are you a Jersey guy, or are you just a part-time Jersey guy? Oh, 
Uh, did, did, did your character? Uh, <laughs> you, you, that's you, that, that far either. You know, that's uh, that's the way it, is. it was for a long time. Did did, uh, did your cat? Did your character come from uh, high school, or did this was this just something that you created on your own? In in analog. Yeah. When, when, how old were you when you played Niedermeyer? Wow. Four. He's four. He was four years old when he played Niedermeyer. Ah, now? <laughs> Uh, well, the, the reason I ask is, the, it's interesting though, the reason I ask is because um, we really had to suspend disbelief that all of those guys were college age guys in that show. It was great. I mean, I'm watching it going, yeah, no. I think, um, how old was Belushi? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We we want to we want to we want to tell you we're sorry for the the passing of uh, Stephen First. I'm sure you're a good friend of his, and uh, we really am sorry for that. Uh, we were working on him being on the show also uh, with Steve Joyner, and uh, just never came to be. But um, we do want to say uh, our condolences to you because we know your friends with his. Freddie. Wow. Freddie. That was a yeah. Way no, to bring I, the show down. No, but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to do that because he yeah. he was he was a. a, a a good guy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to mention him because uh, it was a, a, a sad loss. And uh, we were working to have him to be a part of this show tonight, and um, just like I said, never came. But um, now, um, the, the twisted sister, the the character was almost the same. Did did uh, did that have anything to do with the the character, twisted sister, and Nita Meyer from Animal House? Just mine. Can you loud in this a little bit? People are writing they can't hear it too well. Just mine. Oh, come on, I hear it. Oh. Oh, wow. So, so. So no, no, that, that so then you can you can't uh, uh, emulate the character or or I guess it's kind of like the Lone Ranger couldn't appear with the mask. It, wow, I that's that's that's. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> and I said, good for you. I'm going to have done the same thing.
That's fantastic. Now, do you uh, do you go to the, the chiller cons, um, you know, uh, and uh, endorse that the Niedermeyer character? Do you do any of the conventions as uh, and uh, you know to sign things for fans as that Niedermeyer character, or is that something that they? Uh, uh, Mark, you were in one of my favorite. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Now you were talking. They even said what? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're on a, just a little delay. That's all. Um, so, uh, but I'll get it. That's okay. Mark, you were in. You were in one of my favorite movies growing up, The Heavenly Kid. With um, Jason Gedrick, you, you, you actually you played his father. That was a that was a classic movie. Not a lot of people know you were in that movie, but and that movie wasn't too popular. That was one of my favorite movies growing up when I was thirteen years old. Yeah, he didn't do Iron Eagle yet. If I remember correctly, in the beginning of that movie, you if I remember correctly, in the beginning of that movie, you played a teenager. No, he said you played you played a teenager in that. In the, in the movie opened up when you was a teenager, and then you were in your you were in your late thirties, early forties as as Jason Gedrick's father. What, what was your... Oscar with Sylvester Stallone. Good. He said you did Oscar with St Sylvester Stallone. Oh, are you there? It's, nope. it's and Marissa Tomei. Yeah. Uh, he said, uh, he, uh, "Do you remember doing Oscar, the movie Oscar with Sylvester Stallone and Marissa Tomei?" Oh, oh yeah, we got Mark Oscar with Sylvester Stallone one. and Marissa Tomei. Take another one. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> Snaps Pub Alone. Remember, yes. remember that one? Remember that one? The Snaps Pub Alone. <laughs> the Snap Pub Alone. The Snap Pub Alone. Neither.
That's a. What was your favorite character in uh, in your career to, to perform? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite? What was your most favorite role in in your career? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's right. I forgot about that. You, you know, the Maestro. What a phenomenal character. That was. That's a. That's a favorite yeah, of mine. Yeah. The Maestro. Well, we we have a little connection, so we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna cut you a break. Uh, we're gonna cut the interview short, but we want to thank you so much for calling in and giving us your time. Um, you're always a friend of the show. If you're ever promoting anything and you want to reach out to our talent coordinator, Annette, we'd be glad to promote it for you. Um, and uh, I want to say thank you so much, and uh, thank you for Steve Joyner for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Can you give us a Nita Meyer? Can you give us a Nita Meyer before you go? Can you give us a Niedermeyer goodbye? Give us a goodbye? Yellow, worthless and weak. Uh, can you give us a Niedermeyer goodbye? Mark, could you could you give us a could you give us a you're all worthless and weak? <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Mark, thank you, everybody. God bless you. That was great. That was great. The connection, we had to cut it that way. So, I mean, he gave us a lot of time. We did like a good, I don't know, good 12, 13 minutes. I mean, that's a nice How about the end there? You're all worthless and we drop and give me 20. That was, that's classic. That's great. That's great. It's unbelievable. Such a good guy. Very hard to get. Not an easy guy to get to do an interview. I had no idea he was so conservative, but he's just a stage and theater guy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, here, you want to look up his, he was in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I know, but. I didn't even write his stage because I was running out of ink. Yeah, as much as we know that he's done on TV and movies. I mean, he's done so much more on stage. Yeah, I know. And he's still doing a lot more, as what he told me. Yes, yes. I wanted to get into it, but listen, check out Mark Metcalf on IMDb for all the stuff that he's doing. Mark Metcalf, Nita Meyer was a huge character in uh, Animal House and uh, a big, sh the, big the maestro on Seinfeld. That was yes. like, oh, like, what was it like to kiss Julia Louis-Dreyfus? Oh, man. Well, ask, you ask he dated well, Carrie Fisher. Yeah, yeah. Yes, now I, forgot, I didn't it. want to mention he dated Carrie Fisher and, and not Glenn Close. Glenn Close, sorry. I wrote that really? down. Really? Yes. This, uh, this guy is a real superstar. He was in the Heavenly. You never saw the Heavenly Kid. This guy not, was, that was, that was a stupid movie. Movie. the biggest names in the movie. Right, wasn't this that a stupid awesome. movie, The Heavenly Kid? I never watched it. Oh, uh, I thought you were joking. You know you what? Ask you, watch, you watch about 15 minutes of that. I don't want to watch it. On a Sunday afternoon what? after you Probably. break the yard, you fall asleep. That's a nice Well, listen, we want to mention, we didn't get a chance to mention A&D photographers in the house. Anthony Scala. Check out his Royal Blue photo booth on Facebook. I'm telling you, it's You're a good so thing for cute. parties. And look at him, look at him. He's posing You're so and everything. Cute. And uh, he is one of the best photographers for any event. And he has a Royal Blue for, uh, photo, photo booth, booth that he'll set up at any of your parties, weddings, like his shirt. He's got, one of them, like his he's shirt. got one of them really good cameras. Like his it's shirt. A good camera. Hey, hey, enough of my shirt. Why when, my Anthony, are good. Uh, when the source is going to have his birthday party in the phone booth, can you set up a, a booth inside of a phone booth? Right. For uh, hell. We can convert his phone booth into a photo. Uh, oh, there we go. You know hey, can you blue can you do a blue screen shot of this guy's shirt with him wearing his shirt so it looks like he's just a head and hands? <laughs> <laughs> Summer out. Short sleeves, hello, short sleeves, yeah, short sleeves. Like, <laughs> it's like Rico Suave. Yeah. Right?
What's up, boo? I gotta start dressing. Look, look at that piece of hair. I had a tie on last week. He's trying to look like a chicken. Look at his hair. What I think oh, about that one? Fans look. That's awesome. <laughs> the chicken man of Alcatraz with the oh. source. Uh, and Johnny Hollywood and the AED photographer, our uh, talent coordinator, Annette over there, doing a great job on us uh, Facebook. And uh, but uh, we got more I love Facebook show fans. We got knowledge to Facebook fans. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening, everyone. everyone. Ah, we're here. We just heard now. Mark Metcalf, Nita Meyer, and uh, coming up at you're uh, all worthless and weak. <laughs> and he then, drop and give me twenty. That was good. He did it right. A, a pledge pin see? on your uniform. <laughs> you gotta go see him tomorrow night. Uh, gotta go. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna make it a point. Yeah. You're going to make it a point? I'm going on stage with the chickens and the rabbits. A oh, shout out to Robert Santos. Hey, Robert. Robert. Our official Robert. DJ, Robert Santos. Um, we want, I'm telling you, we, we just we just started. Can you imagine? This is a great show. It's a good show. What are better shows? And uh, Can you imagine? We started this with Nina. one of those there. good shows. Right. You know, the kind of show that's so good, you yeah, you, you just go, wow, that was a good show. Huh. We want to thank Steve and Joyner for making it again, uh, for making it happen. Uh, uh, like I said, Mark Metcalf does not easily do interviews. Yeah. Not easy to get, and we were yeah. working on. And we got him. No, we, Steve Joiner's a good guy, but you know, Steve Joiner got, got him. We got him. I can't Thank you, Steve. I can't Thank you, Steve. Thanks, you, brother. And I can't me. stand that Stephen Separator guy. He hey, sucks. Pete. And me. <laughs> and the next. Stephen Joiner, good guy. Listen. Stephen Separator, not a nice guy. We were working on a big, huge Animal House reunion. Yes. We were. We we had Martha Smith, and we got. Mark, left. Mark Metcalf. No, we had Stephen first. Was thinking about it. We every we we had to wait. But they're all dead. No, no. no. no Mark dead. Metcalf was alive. The dean is dead. Yeah, he is. He's oh, dead. Oh, he died. Did he die? I don't know. His career he died. got him dead already. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's not dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's <already>. he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> See, Lamar's dead. Horse is dead. The horse is dead. <laughs> the horse is dead. <laughs> Belushi's dead. Who's left? Now we have um, uh, the other guy, Peter Rieger. Oh, and Peter Rieger told he, to go he screw. Should. He was he like, told you to no, screw. no, no. He 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 was good. He was like, I don't know. He was acting like he was still a star, <laughs> and, and he <laughs> he didn't want to agree to do the interview. But I was like, I don't really need Steve Rieger because Stephen First was going to do it. Stephen First just passed away. You know who you have to get for that? Oh. Um, um, Sutherland, Donald Sutherland, Donald Sutherland. No, that oh, that would be a good find. That'd be, that would be good. And Keith, the professor, he had the greatest yeah, ass in that whole show. He's got to be. He's got to be in a, in, a, in a senior citizen. Or how about how about the Goomba mayor? The oh, mayor, yeah, he was a good one too. Yeah, he'd be good for this. Yeah. Show. Or the guy. What about the guy with the tank with the helmet? I mean, he's another good actor. Um, he played in a lot of people. Oh well. Oh, uh, uh, Kevin name? Bacon. No, 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 no. The one with the he was the one that um yeah, run over. The guy who created the tank. No, um, oh, with the mustache. Right, right, right. No. Uh, D Day. Yeah, he's been on everything. No, he's not. No, he's, no, he's not dead. He's he was on, on everything. Every, he was on MacGyver. Yeah, he was. He's, he's been, been on. Yeah, he shaved off the mustache. Um, um, he's got all different looks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, oh wow. But uh, listen, what was happening with first? Let me explain. Stephen first was uh, definitely considered doing the show, but he couldn't give us an answer until. Like say yesterday. Well, he was a senator. He wasn't. He? Steve was first. Was he? He was a congressman. I don't even know. Yeah. Was he? Was he really? I think I, he was. I never even heard of that. But he happened to pass away, and uh, you know, and uh, sick. He was sick. Yeah. Sick. He had. He, had, uh, he suffered. Yeah. He had diabetes and stuff like that. But, uh, well, man, what are you gonna do? Uh, we're all getting old, and uh, you know. Well, that's what happens. You get old and die, and that just stinks. That's, I hate when that happens. But hey, by the way, being that I'm on the air and this, and I'm reaching a lot of people, I want everybody to know. I don't want to be like I'm. If, if I'm in a life-threatening situation, I want heroic measures taken to save my life. <laughs> I don't want anybody to go. You know what? He wouldn't want to live this way. I want to live. I don't care. I want to live. I I, I don't care if I'm a head in a tank. Freeze me like Walt. I want to live. Uh, don't pull my plug. Bolt it to the wall. Weld it. Weld it to the plate. I'm pulling it. I'm <laughs> on that note, this is the Wise Guy Show on DDBRadio.com. DDB Radio on TuneIn. Village Connection Radio, Armed Forces Radio Network, City World Radio, 
Facebook Live, YouTube Live. We're coming back after these messages with Martha Smith Babs from You're Nothing But a P-I-G-P and Wow. Hey. P-I-G-P. That's just the uh, wise guy show. We'll be back after right these now. messages. See if you yes, can just talk over.